Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This video, I just want to tell you guys to slow down with the shopping. Slow down. I started a no-buy on March 8th. And to help keep me motivated, when I really want to get something, I delay my gratification. And that was a technique that I started about a year ago. Even though I've been, I slipped a few times, and if you'll see my recent haul videos, <laughs> I realized I needed to stay off social media late at night, well, early in the morning, because I'm nocturnal. So at like 2, 3, 4 in the morning, I need not be on Facebook because of the ads selling stuff, and I need to not be on Instagram, I need to <laughs> not be on Twitter, I need to not be looking at YouTube. And so I have been doing that. I've been staying off of social medias. So I don't see the ads and be tempted because I'm half sleeping like, oh my gosh, this looks good. I need that. I could use that. And one item in particular I purchased, I'm having issues with it. And I'm just like, why buy this crap? And it was not expensive. It was maybe like less than 20 bucks. But the thing is, is that money adds up. And I'm sharing that little story because since March 8th to today, today is March... 13th or 14th but from March 8th till now I have not spent a hundred and nine dollars when there's something that I want to purchase I write it down and I just let it sit or I put it in my shopping cart on with on whatever website it is and I just let it sit and then I really think how likely am I going to use this product on a regular basis skincare I use every day makeup maybe two or three times a week now for videos or if someone someone sent me a surprise haul and so i've been playing with that stuff and but other than that i'm like do i need another eyeshadow palette am i using the ones i have now how much use am i going to get out of this product before it expires and so i've been really thinking about those things so my no buy is nothing except essentials Things that I currently use, that I love, that my skin loves. Replacements for stuff that I run out of. And I extended it to fast food because there's days I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to go to Papa John's. That might be like $15, $20. Or I'm like, oh, I want Chinese food. That might be like $15. And so even if I want to eat out, I'm just like, no, I have enough food in my freezer and in my cabinets. I do not need to go out and buy pizza or Chinese food. I don't. And so in just this week, I've saved what looks like $109. However, because I usually shop on a credit card, unless it's food, because then you're paying for shit, because by the time you paid off the credit card, you done ate and shit it out. Think about that. Somebody said that to me way back, and it stuck with me, because I'm like, you're right. By the time I pay off <laughs> that pizza, I've, I've shit it out like two weeks ago. <laughs> Or like two months ago. <laughs> not only did I not spend 109 I also am not paying interest rates on credit cards. Think about that too. Oh, this is on sale. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to put it on my Sephora card because I get 4% cash back. Well, if your interest rate <laughs> is 10%, 18%, whatever, where's that 4% that you saved? You didn't. That's another thing I want you guys to think about. Like, are you really saving getting 2% back, 4% back? Rakuten gets you that way. Sometimes Sephora might go up to 6%, and if you use your Rakuten card, you get another 4%. So you're like, oh, I can get this for 10% off, but then your interest rate is likely more than 10%. And then you're running a balance on your credit card, and you're not paying it off. So how much extra are you paying in interest to get that 10% off. Think about it. This is what I want you guys to do. Think about not only what you think you're saving, but think, I don't want to say rationally, but think realistically. That's the word. Think realistically about are you really saving? If you don't carry balances on your credit cards, which is something I've been getting better at. I've paid off some credit cards and there's only a few that I keep a running balance on. And so if I'm like, okay, let me just go get this. Well, before my no buy, 
I would pay it off either before the bill came or when the bill came. So that way I'm not paying interest. So if you shop that way, you know, 10, 6% off on Rakuten and then 4%, you know, cash back on your Sephora card or the 4% using your Rakuten card, that 10%, you're really saving that 10% because you're not paying interest. So really think about that. Delay your gratification and think about, am I really saving in the long term? A friend of mine sent me a link to a video. It was about financial management, money, things like that. And something she said stuck with me. I mean, I'm telling you, it like shook my soul. And what she said was, just because it's on sale does not mean it's on sale for you. The Sephora Rogue Cell or Rouge Cell, however you pronounce that word, is coming up. I'm top tier, so I would get 20%. The next tier is 15% off. The next tier is 10% off. You guys know this. Ulta has their 21 Days of Beauty Cell coming up. Things are going on sale half off. Other stuff is already on sale. Ulta's emailing coupons every other day. Spend $40, get $10 off, except you have to pick it up in the store. I mean, there's like all kinds of sales coming up. So for me, when I looked at what was going on sale for Ulta, there's only like one thing I'm going to buy and it's because I actually do use it. And that's the Lancome um, Boost XL something mascara lash primer. I actually use that and it's 20 something dollars. It's going to be like 13 bucks. So that I'll buy because I use. I only have one and I use it. That's the concept. Buy what you currently use or buy something you're about to run out of or something that you know you will run out of because you use it all the time or the majority of the time. And so th that's all I wanted to say really quick. And I'm feeling like I'm missing something else. So delay your gratification and then ask yourself, why do I want to get this? Am I really going to use it? And be realistic. Oh, this eyeshadow palette is so pretty. Oh, I really wanted to try this brand. But just really be realistic about what, not to say need because makeup is not a need, but think about what you really use on a regular basis. I'm seeing a lot of videos, Sephora recommendations, Ulta Cell recommendations, this is what you should get, this is what you should buy. And a lot of us, we're not influencers we're not getting paid for content even i consider getting paid for content even if you're receiving pr because if you're receiving a whole collection of something you didn't pay for it but you're doing a video and you're marketing for them to me that's still a form of payment how often do you think about if this person wasn't sent this product would they be doing this video talking about how great it is or how you can make it work if you do this or do that. that. That's a whole nother video and you guys know that. And I'm sure you've probably heard it before. Spend wisely. Think about if the sale is really going to save you money in the long term. Don't think about right now, that moment. Oh my gosh, look at this. Think about it. Thanks guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts below. If you're on a no buy, if you've done one before, if you want to join me on this one, I'm going to do it for six months. So until September, started March 8th. So September 8th or 9th, however the week falls. I'm feeling good already knowing that I already saved more than $109 because I'm not paying interest on stuff I bought using a credit card. So. And I'm already thinking like, it's only been a week and I didn't spend $109. Like, what if this is like every other week I don't spend $100? How much money will I have like saved or not spent in six months? That could be a vacation. You know what I'm saying? So think about that too. If there's a goal that you have. So my goal is to attend more conferences next year, at least three more because there's two additional ones I really want to go to 
and then I'm thinking I'm missing something and that there's a third one that I really want to go to. So that's why I'm saying three more, which would be five conferences. And I'm just excited thinking about the possibilities of the things I could do with saving money. And I want you guys to be excited about this as well. So think of a goal. Let me know if you want to join this no buy with me. Even if you want to wait till after the sales <laughs> and do a no buy, no judgment. I, I would just enjoy company during this process. Let me know your thoughts below. Let me know if you just buy stuff just because it's on sale. <laughs> Let me know if you, when you hear delayed gratification, you're just like, oh my God, what? No, I'm no, I'm not delaying nothing. So just let me know just what your thoughts are either way. And I will just add this. This is the last thing I promise. If there's something you've been wanting for more than like a week, because it's like, oh, the sale's coming up. I'm going to get such and such. If there's something you've had your eye on for like five or six months and you've been specifically waiting for a sale, that I don't count because you've been waiting for it and you have delayed your gratification already. And so that I do give a pass. So let me know what you think and you'll see me in the next video.